The mysterious 1010 theory, Sonic sticking on Switch 1 forever, some dude fighting Nintendo by himself, and reacting to one of my very first Switch videos. Good morning Mario and good morning Switch fans, I gotta be honest with you, right now is like low point of the Nintendo Switch news cycle. We're in between Zelda Echoes of Wisdom and Mario Party Jamboree, everybody is waiting for the Switch 2, Nintendo's not ready to reveal it, and this system is feeling old. That's why I thought it'd be fun to do something old and go back to a weird on-camera vlog Nintendo Switch before the system came out, but I had the system special video reaction thing that I think you're going to really enjoy, and it's just a weird blast from the past because it's almost a decade ago. But anyways, what's going on everybody? It's Zach from Switch Force. Hit that like button if you enjoy these videos. Let me know if you're getting a bit bored with the Nintendo stuff right now. I just, I just need them to like get going. I need them to move. I know they've got a few games rolling around, but I think part of it is just the system is so old at this point. Like at some point the excitement runs out and you'll see how exciting it was back in the day when we react. But first, let me tell you a few news bits. This guy is trying to fight Nintendo by himself. We could talk about this at length. I don't think it's very interesting. It's just a dude who's being sued for uh, piracy and he is going to fight them himself. But it's like the big Nintendo news story of the day because there's nothing else. I'd rather though focus on Sonic saying that they're gonna be supporting older consoles for as long as they possibly can. I think this is good for people that may not upgrade to a Switch 2 and just good to see that Sonic, a major franchise, is joining Just Dance, a annoying franchise, as one that supports the old consoles. Uh, they were talking with the Sonic team head Takashi Izuka and he said, as a market, we have the high-end machines, high-end consoles, Coming out with those consoles, we feel that we can make newer Sonic games that can express the speed of Sonic and with much better gaming UI as well. However, we want to support the lower spec constants as well. So even though the PS5 Pro is coming out or new innovations or technology are coming out, we feel that it is important to support with the lower spec consoles and let many of the users keep playing Sonic. So when the Switch is really old and dusty and rusty, you'll still have Just Dance and Sonic, which hey, at least one of those to me is very exciting. The other is a little bit maniacal, but maybe you're a fan of both and you've got two games that will last a long time. Because what, it's like Just Dance, FIFA, and I guess Sonic. Honestly, it's nice though. They should support Switch 1 and Switch 2. And I think we'll see a lot of games, especially early on, be cross compatible. I guess it depends how you know detailed Nintendo is with the carts. Can they go backwards and forwards? I'm guessing Switch 2 carts will not work on Switch 1. So will they have to make two SKUs? That could make things a bit difficult, but Supporting Switch 1, at least via eShop, is something that I do believe a lot of games will do uh, for a few years to come, and maybe even more than that in the case of, say, Sonic. Now, let's talk about the 1010 theory. This is ridiculous to me, and this just shows how we need news, Nintendo. You skipped your September Direct. You haven't announced the Switch 2. What the heck is going on? Because everybody is looking at this tweet about Mario and Luigi Brothership and thinking that it's some secret code for Nintendo Switch 2. Nintendo posts a GIF of Mario landing a jump. They say 10 slash 10 landing. And a lot of people think that this means that Nintendo Switch 2 is coming on 10 10. That they're gonna announce freaking Switch 2 in a couple of days. That would be this Thursday. Guys and girls, this is a 10 out of 10 landing. Mario made a nice jump. They think he's a very accurate sportsman. They think he lands this in this field of grass and tumbleweeds, with nice cell shaded art style, in a very perfect way. Nintendo is not secretly revealing their Switch 2 <laughs> reveal date via a Mario and Luigi Brothership jumping GIF with a little numerical code in the tweet. Nintendo is locked down. This is a company that hates leaks. This is a company that is super, super duper strict with how they send out their information, send out their games, who they work with, how they work with them, they're not giving you the Switch 2 date in a tweet. I'm sorry. It would be great. It would be cute. I hope people are joking about this, but I think some are just so desperate for new information that it's like, oh my gosh, maybe Nintendo is. And I get it. You really shouldn't let your audience get to a point where they think your Mario jumping gif is the secret final revelation of the Switch 2 console. So that's why Nintendo needs to amp it up. We don't want people thinking that Mario jumping is anything more than Mario jumping because let me assure you this is just Mario jumping and if you beg to differ I'd love to hear your argument in the comments but no 1010 is not probably the reveal of the switch 2 and it's definitely not because of this tweet
time machine travel activated. This is March 1st, 2017. This is a few days before the Nintendo Switch drops. And here I am getting, I think, my third Switch game. This is a totally different era, a totally different time. First of all, the OG Switch looks microscopic in this video. I don't know why, forgive me. It's not a knockoff. I actually did get the Switch from Nintendo uh, themselves back when they loved me. Let's take a peek though. I think this is really just funny, interesting, and cool. What's up everybody, it's Zach from Switch Force back with another freaking game. Last time we got one to Switch right here. Last time we got one to Switch. You already know this is about to be a banger. Yeah, which is not in the system because I've been too busy with Zelda. Uh, but we got another package and another game. So let's figure out how our Switch library is going to expand today. I'm on a current crazy travel trip before I head to Indiana to meet up with the other Switch 4 hosts, Jake and Gabe. <gasps> Look at what we have. <laughs> the big reveal is Super Bomberman R. This thing, okay, to give you a perspective, I was traveling at the time. Um, I think, I think I was at PAX East, potentially. That's my guess, but I was having somebody overnight me switch games that we found early so that i could make videos on them because nobody else had switch games at the time the system's not out i have at this point i have zelda one two switch and now super bomberman r oh yeah it's super bomberman r the third of the five switch launch physical in the store games there's breath of the wild one two switch super bomberman r Skylanders Imaginaries and Just Dance 2017. What a, what a freaking physical lineup. Super Clips obviously on the eShop and maybe there was one or two others. Bomberman R, Just Dance, Skylanders. I mean, Zelda covers it, you know, for sure, but freaking hilarious. The Switch 2 launch lineup in comparison is going to be insane. We now have a number three. So we're going to open up. People were really like, the Switch may fail terribly. Nintendo, you absolutely just freaking drop the ball with the wii u we're not giving you anything on launch day take a little look at the back of the box here oh, yeah. i like the artwork and you're gonna love the inner case artwork so That's as so we've nice. said okay. the games are a little bit goofy in terms of how big the case is uh, but we'll open this bad boy up and something interesting this is the first spine that has a a like logo slash uh unique font because if we look here get one two switch you can see that it's just in a very oh, yeah okay this is the first very, like, like Man, third parties decided to be all crazy, and Nintendo was like, you must use Ariel! Basic Nintendo font, and Super Bomberman R has a whole unique logo and style and all that jazz. So let's open this up. We're going to tear into this and see what's inside. If I can what get what the... it tells us, can anyone figure out, based on this like table right here and this book, my gosh, my old laptop case. Is that my backpack? I don't even know what backpack that is. This is like my old laptop case. I must have been using a razor blade. Case, there we go. Uh, this is the most uh, party multiplayer centric of the launch uh, physical games. So excited to get this one going. Boom. At the time, it was like so weird. When I remember when I first got my first physical game, because I believe Nintendo sent me Breath of the Wild as a code. So when I got one, two switch, I was like, holy crap. The case is so big compared to the cartridge. Oh. Oh, my inner art is different than the international inner art. Look at this. So on the American uh, inner art, you've got uh, some instructions on how to play it's the game. Like now, I'll insert cheapest. a picture now of... Oh, yeah, look how nice that looks. Look at that cool international art. I just have a freaking basically one-page document instruction book of boringness. Lame. What the inner art looked like uh, or what people thought the inner art was going to look like for other... Uh, other additions, other uh, Zach, regions get to what I'm looking for. Point. <laughs> uh, but here we've got some some instructions on how to kick, how to ability, and how to punch. But let's take a look at the cart. Here we go. Pull this bad boy out. The best and part there the is the out. little itty bitty cart, all nice and small and looking cool, Bomberman. I gotta tell you before we get there, the title of this video is Getting Another New Switch Game, A Longer Load and Different Art. So we've covered New Switch Game, we've covered different art and now comes the best part a longer load taking front and center stage how exciting and you got the super bomb and r and the konami logo a lot packed into this cartridge on the artwork crazy. at least all right so let's put this in let's see all right so we got two squares on our switch Give screen third let's square. add a third we're gonna pop zelda third out of the buy square. link we're working square. hard on the dungeons and all that good stuff dungeons Goodbye, hold up man. hold up hold up zach what, what are you trying to scam people with working harder than dungeons those aren't real dungeons I guess I was trying to be really hopeful at the time that maybe they'd expand as I went forward. 
Spoiler, they don't. Is going to come in to save the day. Oh, this was we'll pop him like down and in. in. Oh, there yeah. we go. Brand Spoiler. new title. Ready for action. Let's watch this long I mode. am Zach, and we are going to boot this thing up. Let's see. That's my face. And a little oh, bit yeah. of a load. But no install. A long Thankfully, load. Switch doesn't deal with those. the slowest booting game thus far. Oh, wow. Any day now. Yeah, now, gracious. okay. Versus this is this one is... thing that, like, nobody talks about because it's just accepted at this point. It's not the biggest of deals, but I do hope the Switch to, like, tile to start is much quicker. Like, it should not take this long. I don't know how long this actually is. Let's see. I can look at the video here. So, I click start here. And I... Okay. 2.05, it's going on, okay, it, right now it's at 20 seconds. Any day now, now okay. loading, okay. So it's 25 First it the seconds system load, here. Then the hourglass load, now the now loading load. This is the longest load time of any game. 30 seconds, and we're still not seen thus far. to interact with. But, 35 will it be worth seconds. it once Bomberman appears? Okay. So 35 seconds till you can do anything is way too freaking long. I know, grand scheme of things, first world problems, but 35 seconds, come on, fix that for Switch 2. All right. Yes. Super Bomberman, oh. This was so right, novel. I can't wait to check this one out and get to... It was so novel because it's like we... Where look. there's single player, there's multiplayer, and this will be a good way to utilize... We did not have, right? Like, we did not have any knowledge of the Switch. This is pre... It's, it's pre its release date. So it's like, oh my gosh, everything is exciting. We didn't have any knowledge of portable systems in this way like we obviously have the ds the 3ds but not at this caliber so everything was so novel and so fun and so exciting and i long for those days again unfortunately i don't think the switch 2 will be as wabang but it still will be exciting in many ways um even though if it's just a another switch it's still brand new it's been so long everything is so known and unremarkable at this point just even like a new form factor, a new UI, a new eShop. Come on, baby. Lies a whole bunch of Joy-Con on one little tablet. So that's Bomberman. We're going to go back to the home screen now. I've got triple jam action all up jam. on my Switch. Three cartridges now Ooh. of the five that are available. Kind of like a little bit of an Easter egg hunt. Okay, the software was closed because I was dumb. But if we lay this down here, you'll see I got oh, Bomberman. Yeah. Look I've at got my Zelda. Wares. And I've got one, two, Switch. Look three Switch cartridges. Triple the fun, even though they're all different. Super enjoying chesting them all out. Did I just say chesting them all out? Let's listen to that again. Triple the fun, even though they're all different. Super enjoying chesting them all. I literally just said chesting them all out. What the heck does that mean? I know. I'm seeing what it is like. But... So there you have oh. it. Our third game is Super Bomberman R. Excited to check that out and bring you guys content and coverage. If you're enjoying all the Switch stuff, thank you. I really appreciate it. Have I aged a day? It kind of looks like I could record this video right now. Like, check this out. It, how much different do I look? A little, a little bit, maybe? A little? Support Gabe and Jake do as well. Make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell if you want to be ready for all the latest and greatest good Switch stuff we got coming your way this launch week. Just a few days and you guys will have these cartridges and these consoles in your hands. I promise it's worth the wait. I promise you it will was. love it. I was and yeah, it's really cool to start filling out this bar. Bomberman, Zelda, 1-2 Switch. My time lies with Zelda. The most last lie with 1-2 Switch. Let's see if Super Bomberman R can bring that local multiplayer party action to the system. I'm going to go check that out. You guys have a fantastic day. Until next time, everybody, thanks so much. Switch Force out. We said it back then, and we'll say it here. I think that's a fun trip down memory lane. Bomberman R. God, this is a horrible screen. Get this off the screen, Zach. Let's go back to... Oh, God. No, stop. Stop, 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 stop. Okay, that's better. That's way better. That blinding everybody, including myself. Anyways, guys and girls, let me know what you think of the trip down memory lane. I do long for a new console. Hopefully Nintendo brings us to us soon. And until next time, I'm going to go chesting out some other games. Y'all stay safe, stay healthy, stay happy, stay positive out there. Switch Force. Out.